Welcome to the second video in the web series on Banner 9 Web Registration. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Plan Ahead feature. The Plan Ahead feature is a password protected site which allows, requires you to log in with your username and password for the network, as well as you would, just as you would for your email. Once you get logged in, pick the term for which you'd like to plan ahead. In this case, fall 2018. Um, in the planning feature, we allow for up to three plans to allow you variation in planning for the semester ahead. These plans are a great way to visualize your semester, as well as an easy way for registration uh, later on, and I'll show you how to do that in video three. Um, once you get in the plan, you're brought into a search feature. Um, this search feature takes you to the catalog level. It looks for courses to begin with. Um, you don't want to just add courses. Uh, when you're in here looking around, you'll want to make sure that you go further and look for at section level data, which is what's actually taking place each semester. Because while courses can be in the catalog, they may not be offered every semester. In this case, we're going to math major, so I'm going to add my next math course my catalog results. In addition to your standard subject and course number searching, there is also advanced search features that allow you to search for other things. Um, most popularly, um, you might go to the attribute tab, which would allow you to look for things that meet their common curriculum requirements, such as your gender requirement, fine arts requirements, those types of things. You also have course number ranges and credit number ranges down here, which are very helpful. In this case, I want to add an introductory biology course. This one looks good. I do know that, <clears throat> well, it doesn't say it on the screen, and that's one thing that doesn't display any co-requisite and prerequisite information d doesn't display on these search results. Um, while the course itself doesn't have any prerequisites, I do know there's a co-requisite that requires the Biology 101 lab to be with it. So I'm going to go back to and look for a lab section. This one looks like it'll fit well with my schedule. And lastly, I'm going to add a philosophy course. Once I found the courses I want, I can go down here and save. I'm going to call this plan one. Save my plan. Once I've saved things, You'll see that the schedule on the left here has now turned a nice color-coordinated schedule to show that nothing, there's no conflicts of, in my time. Um, if I want to make any changes to the existing plan here, I can also go in and delete coursework on the menu here. Um, if you use the breadcrumb trail up top to, to select a plan, you can go back and see your plans on the out. Um, before you added stuff, if you want to create a second plan, in this case I'm going to I'm going to create a second plan, I'm just going to call it French, so that when there's more than one plan on in the main menu, there is this option in here to, to create that says make plan preferred. When you, do, when you click on that link, it changes the preferred plan, moves it to the top. What this will do is when you go into Class registration, that preferred plan will show up first in the list of plans if you have more than one. I want to make plan one my preferred plan again. And actually, you have the ability, once you come to this menu, if you click edit, it'll take you into the plan to edit things. And if you click delete, it will just delete your plan. So that's how you make and create plans for class registration. In the next video, we'll go on to show you how to actually import those plans into class into your registration and to register for courses.